So anytime you introduce any animal, regardless if it's a you know, 50 gram gecko or an elephant, things can go any number of ways. So we do kind of hounding introductions so animals can see each other, so they're not just meeting each other randomly for the first time. Um, you know, so for crocodilians specifically, you know, and again, it could go any number of ways. So things could go smoothly. There could be zero interest or interaction with it, or it could go as wild as your imagination would let it go. Um, so, you know, normally it would be very common to see some snapping or some tail wax or um, things like that. And, you know, whenever we paired them up together, it was, again, very smoothly. Um, so we're very thankful for that because um, crocodilians are very smart. So he definitely knew that was Rose and Rose definitely knew that that was Miguel. Um, so I, I think the fact that they lived together for such a long period of time and they're only back with each other, that's, I'm sure, a huge part of why the introduction, introduction went so smoothly again. Reunited, so they're back together. Sometimes they're laying right next to each other. Sometimes they're on complete opposite ends of the exhibit and they're just kind of doing a crocodilian thing. So, you know, we don't think typically of crocodilians being super social in the wild. There's definitely interaction. Um, of course, a lot of that comes when it's breeding time. Um, you know, so it just depends. But yeah, sometimes they're hanging out next to each other. Sometimes they don't seem to care about the other one. So they typically regard as one of the most athletic crocodilians. So they can move very quickly when they want to on land or in water. Um, they can jump out quite a bit, so we have a, a hoist system that we've used a couple times for Miguel and only, I think, once for Rose, where basically the principle is that they're known to jump out of water for the prey, so we're kind of reenacting that by having food items on this hoist where they have to jump out of the water to get them. So Miguel's probably jumped out about 30 inches or so. I think once Rose gets used to the area and used to that, I think she will probably jump out further because, again, she's a little bit more athletic, a little bit more food motivated. Um, so that's been really cool. You know, Miguel, they, to my knowledge, have never seen anything like that before. So the fact that they picked it up so quickly is, is pretty, pretty cool. Um, and just working with a, a larger crocodilian or rather, you know, they're very, very smart. They're, um, you know, a lot of times people think about reptiles like, oh, you know, it's just how big can their brain be? They don't have that much room of a head. And, you know, reptiles are definitely different than what we think of like mammals or birds just because their evolution is different and how they eat and, and hide or things like that are, is also different, but they're very intelligent, especially crocodilians. So that's been kind of interesting to work with them and, and kind of experience that firsthand.